uh, partially owned by Alan Jackson. That's also owned um, by the unit on the right. We have Eight Days Good Time Bar, owned by Alan Jackson, 100%. The only two to own their bar. This Kid Rock, Luke Bryant's, all those places. And there's Tootsie's right there, that purple hill, that very cool place. Now, this is the private auditorium, Mother Church of Country Music. Still there? Mother Church of Country Music, Carnegie Hall, the South, celebrating 130 years this year. It was originally known as the Union Gospel Tabernacle, built by Verbo Captain Thomas Ryman for Evangelist Sam Jones as a place where all could come together and worship. It was a church first. It hosted the Grand Ole Opry from 1943 to 1974. Chinese Cashman, his wife, Jim Carter, cashed in in 1956. And from 1969 to 1971, he filmed the Johnny Cash Show. Songwriters and publishers get their royalty checks. I'm a member of ASCAP, a writer member, publisher member. They made almost $2 billion last year. $2 billion. Here, folks, we have Sony Music, folks, the largest publisher in the world. All of Michael Jackson's All of Michael Jackson stuff is in there. All of the Beatles stuff is in there. All of Hank Williams Sr. stuff is in there. The Boss and we the Springsteen stuff. Oh, Bob Dylan, awesome. Out here on the left, RC Studio B, we talked about it before, built for the ground up in 1957, and held by Chen Atkins, an amazing producer. Of the 35,000 songs recorded there, a thousand became hits. That's why it's known as a home of a thousand hits. Elvis recorded 242 songs in there. Charlie Pride with the color berry with 20 and woman hits. You had the Everly Brothers, Roy Orbison, Fats Domino, Jerry Reed, Jim Reed, Floyd Kramer, and Dolly Park, who wrote Jolene and I will always love you on the very same day. She has made almost $60 million on those two songs. A great day. Kurt Word, one of the largest contemporary Christian music groups in the world. And over here, folks, we have RCA Studio A, mostly office space. They have a studio in here, five grand pianos named they recorded there. Tony Bennett, Ben Folds, George Strait, Jason Isbell, Bob Dylan, and Chris Stapleton. They were gonna tear it down eight years ago and build a hotel. Arby Preston stepped in at the very last second, saved the day, it's on the National Registry of Historic Places. Can you imagine that being torn down in a hotel from this place? Thank goodness it wasn't. You guys can take a tour of that. This is Star Trek Entertainment, owned by Narva Blackstock, who is Reba McIntyre's ex-husband. She designed the building, she was in the building, she owned the building, he got the building. This is called Ocean Way Studio on the left. Former Episcopal Church in the Island became Ocean Way in 1996. It was over by Belmont College in 2001. Hey, welcome to Ocean Way. This is where we made the record. Great studio, great room. Yes, it's a church. I love this town. I've been coming here for a solid 25 years, maybe longer. Yeah, I just have a, a love affair with the, with the community. You walk across the street and work at this publisher here, Smack Song Publishing. Shane McAnally and Josh Osborne have written 50 number one hits in the last 10 years. They wrote By Like a Backbone for Sam Hunt, The Next Drinking Problem, John Cooper, John Deere, John 316 for Keith Urban, Santa My Boots with Morgan Wallet, I Love You Like I Love Country Music for Kane Brown, and they wrote the number one country song of the year last year, Fancy Like a Walker Hill. We didn't know around once, but one night we got a road driver. He went around four times. People were begging for him to stop. It's incredible, isn't it? Wow, they're not giving you much space to get over, are they? Just hanging there. That's how it works. There's no covers. You have to sing what you wrote. So if you hear Jolene, Dolly Parton's on stage. It's free parking, it is free to get in, there's no cover charge, and the food is amazing. However, you want to change the pace, up here on the right, second building on the right, it's a place called The Local. Okay, it's also an original bar, 90% original, and it's mostly bands, R&B bands, punk bands, rock bands, and songwriters, but it's a $40 cover charge in there. So, this is the Commodore Grill, and it's mostly country, anything from traditional country to contemporary, but it's all original. And this next song is called It's Not Too Late. It's not too late to tell someone you love them. We're all still here tonight. Call your mom when you get home. 
home today. I'm definitely going to call my mom. It's not too 